Hello there guys, welcome back to the e-bike repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dosh and I take apart and fix super fun things like e-bike batteries, uh, motors, controllers, all that fun stuff. What I've got in today is this, it's a Dillinger e-bike battery. Uh, we've got, uh, okay, 48 volt, 11.6 amp hour. It's one of these, I think this is a Tiger Shark or a Dolphin or something like that they call it. It's got one of those slides on and off. On off button here, indicator lights here charge port there, USB port there, fuse underneath here, discharge port here which we'll get to, um, and then a key barrel there. So what's going on with this one it would appear is that the guy's bike isn't working, it's a Bafang 1000 watt um, mid drive, so a BBS HD that must be. If you can see, this here is all nice and shiny, I can stick this good driver in it, um, this one is all melty and bad, and the contact, I think, is just gone, basically. You see the, the blackened mess that's come up on the end of my screwdriver there? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is with this. So what I'm going to do is pop it apart, have a little look, measure some things, uh, check the balance of the pack, etc. So negs on this side, posies on this side, so I can put it back together the right way, and the little notch is at the bottom. I do have the whole bike and the connector on the other end is really blackened where that pin goes in so I think it's just obliterated the connector a little bit. It must have been loose and arcing for a long time uh, is all I could assume. So to take this off you want to get some sort of long nose pliers or something on this just to loosen the connector a touch. Doesn't need to be super loose but that should do for getting it out of there and then we've got screws around the edge so one two three probably another one underneath here somewhere four five six none under there um, and then there are little nuts pressed into the side of the casing there that always fall out as you take the screws out so I'm going to use my super duper surprisingly not awful screwdriver from AliExpress when you start hearing that noise that clunk 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 it means it's come off the, the screws come out. There you go, look, there's one of the nuts left behind. That one doesn't want to come out. This one seems bent or unhappy, I don't know. Focusing on my hand, not the battery. There we go. They're very long screws, but the thread isn't super long. Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five of them. So one must be around still. Put them over there. Uh, that one there. It's not quite come out. goes that makes six so the screws are different lengths as well so if you look at this one here that was up here it's about that long but if you look at that one there significantly longer so they go in different places basically the short ones go where the case is short and the long ones go where the case is long and you can push the screws normally you can push the screws out Oh, you see the case weevil wobbling there. I think these are not going to be that easy. That's one. Easiest thing in the world to remove sometimes. It's not having any of that, is it? There you go. Oh, yeah, look at that one. 
like a banana. Whee! That wouldn't help. And then two more. What are they going to do? They're going to come out easily, right? Kind of. Okay, I'm on. Da, 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 da. Right, you can. Okay, right. This thing's got a spring under it, which is always quite interesting. Something is stuck here. Not sure what. I think there's a piece of foam stuck across there. And I have. Oh no, I found my knife. Done it? That's done it. Yeah, there's a piece of foam stuck across it. We're nearly out. There we go. Let's take that out. Okay. This thing goes in like that, and you've got to kind of push the spring back into place as you reinstall. It's very annoying. Um, oh, I've got some split heat shrink so we can see the cells. Green cells. Might be Panasonic. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look. 18650. 18650. PF, they are. If you can see in there. Do, do, do. There you go. PF cells. So there's our fuse holder down there. And this is our discharge port here. Yeah, it's quite mullered, that, isn't it? And get my meter. See if we can read anything at all on the discharge port. Yeah, look, 54.1 volts. So that's almost a fully charged battery. But I think it's not making a connection on the bike. I'll just test this on the uh, on the tester really quick, uh, just for a, a minute or so, and um, see whether or not it sustains power output, and then I'm going to put it down to the connector not making contact. Obviously, once I test the bike side and all that. Okay, we do have sustained power output. This connector has actually got a little bit warm already. So, uh, obviously, the connector's goosed, and it needs replacing. I think these are like a um, same as a ranch and Dorado discharge port, I'm sure. Just like that, there's just a pos and neg terminal on the back of them. I have to do a bit of looking up and see, but that's what's going on with that. And the bike side uh, powers up if you wiggle this in the right place, so it's, it's clearly all solvable with a new connector. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'm not going to open this up because it doesn't need opening up anymore. Um, yeah. If you like this kind of thing, please feel free to leave a like rating, a comment, you can subscribe. I've got a members thing where you pay like a, I don't know, pound a month English, and I get a shockingly small quantity of that, or a dollar a month, or whatever it is. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.